Hey Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome back to another Star Wars The Black Series action figure review straight from angelgrovecollectibles.com here in, in Australia comes The Mandalorian and Grogu from Muldo Crease, the Black Series version. We just, I just reviewed the Vintage Collection one about a week and a half ago, so that was a great pack. Um, this one looks really, really cool. I'm excited to get this one open. A slight retool of The Mandalorian. Um, a few different, just minor differences to the existing figures. Um, but yeah, looking really cool. Another one of these spiders and Grogu with a little egg. There's the art on the side of the box looking pretty good. On the back, a little bio from, it was chapter 10. So there's a battle-worn bounty hunter making his way through a dangerous galaxy in, in an uncertain age and a mysterious alien pursued by bounty hunters on behalf of Imperial interests. So, uh, yeah, it's, it's a nice looking box. Like, this is justifiable as a deluxe release, having the big spider plus Grogu. Like, you know, you take them two out, you've got yourself a skinnier box. And, uh, yeah, you can justify this one as a deluxe. So... Let's crack this one open, take a look, and we'll, uh, we'll do, do exactly what I just said. We'll crack it open, take a look. All right, folks, let's get into it. Let's just start off with the accessories, because that's really, really easy to do, and we'll get them out of the way. So we have here the Pulse Rifle, which we've seen numerous times. Um, you know, he still has this in the series at this point in time, so it's the same mold as all the others we've had. Paint detail is really, really cool. Nicely done. I do love this weapon. Really nice. It does come with his blaster pistol as well. You know, same mold as we've had numerous times now. And we get little baby Yoda. Pre-posed. Just a static little figure. His hands do move. You can spin his hands around. You can move his little head around a little bit. Because he has this little display base with the open egg. You can just have him reaching, reaching in for the little baby spider. So that's a, that's a nice little accessory. I like it. The little snow weathering and stuff on his on his little outfit. It's just super duper cute. I love this thing. That's cool. I like the inside of the egg. It's like a it's like a shiny metallic green. That's nice. I dig that. And we of course get the spider. This is cool. It's disgusting but cool. <laughs> The nice, this would be a cool one to display with the vintage collection one as well, being a little bit bigger than the ones that ones you get with that. Um, and yeah, I know I know a lot of people will probably be um, crossing over the two scales with the spiders, and you know you could populate the black series with some more smaller ones, or you could populate the uh, vintage collection scale one with this bigger one, which is you know that's really cool. Again, like I said with the uh, three and three quarter inch one. Some extra details, the painting on the eyes would have been nice, but overall, it's all good. It's a nice sculpt, really nicely made. Um, all the legs are ball jointed, like ball socket joints, so they all move. You can, uh, even then, if you've got a miniature Hot Wheels Razor Crest, you can almost just mount this guy on that. So that's cool. So on to the Mandalorian himself. Um, I do dig this figure a lot. Um, the weathering, I could do without, but that's fine. You know, it's all right. I'm not going to complain about it because it's scene specific. You know, it is what it is. Seem to have gotten a bit better with the uh, with the molds and the helmet. I've complained multiple, multiple times in the past about him wearing like a flat bucket. I still don't think it's perfect, but... I mean, that sort of taper down at the front is much more accurate than some of them have been. And yeah, it definitely looks a little bit better with that sort of fuller mold going a little bit deeper. Because we've had some that have looked, you know, they've almost been cut 
straight across from the back and they just look terrible but this one looks better this one looks nice so hopefully that means it's on for a course correct but yeah he's looking good so pretty much the same mold and accessories as the other Mandalorians we've had in the past um, this time he does have a new thigh plate which is taken from uh, Q90 we do have the knee darts and I think this side here is different too um, we do have that red paint which has been missed before but I can't actually remember whether he had that painted on before this period of time so you know it changes so often that it's hard to keep up with everything um, all the different changes and stuff that goes on with his outfit and his armor but yeah it's nicely done he's still wearing his shore trooper wrist covers there nice to see them get swapped out at some point whispering birds whistling whistling birds whispering whistling whistling birds launcher on the side of the gauntlet but yeah it's a nice looking mando figure is it perfect no not yet i still think hasbro could improve on this one with a nicely painted jetpack that matches the matches the color of the beskar rather than that sort of just dark gray plastic and a soft goods cape would absolutely set this figure off i think it'd be fantastic i'd love to see it so there we have this set moldo crease the snow planet and the spiders which caused me oh so much anxiety <laughs> throughout that episode but yeah, it's cool. Nice pack. Again, thanks to Angel Grove Collectibles. Go check them out. They're based here in Australia, over in Melbourne. Um, definitely hit them up. Tell them I sent you. Um, and I think my discount code should still work. So if you're looking to order this one, TFIWJ5, use that at checkout and you will save 5% on your order through Angel Grove Collectibles. So thank you very much to the fine folks over there at Angel Grove. Keep it up. You're awesome. Um, and yeah, thank you for tuning in. Um, this isn't my pers permanent spot for reviews. I've just, it's, it's late at night and I just wanted to get this review up. So <laughs> I'll sort something out very, very soon. So thank you for tuning in. I appreciate it big time. Um, yeah, we'll see you on the next video until then. May the force be with you always.